AMD started developing their next generation GPU architecture, which is also going to be known as RDNA 4 based Navi 48. This new architecture is expected to bring significant improvements and performance and efficiency to their graphics cards. What's interesting is that AMD is utilizing the ROC platform for this development, which is indicating a focus on high performance computing alongside gaming. This move is suggesting that AMD is going to be creating GPUs that excel not only in gaming, but also tasks that are going to be requiring extensive computational power like video editing, 3D rendering programs, artificial intelligence, etc. And this is a very big deal because those are all things that Nvidia has really, really, really focused on. And at least for me and what I prefer to do with my computer, it benefits me a ton. The NVENC encoders for video editors, OBS, and all these other programs, that is super beneficial to me. And the same thing with Intel. You also have HVEC or whatever Intel's encoder thing is there for some of the Adobe applications, OBS, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited to see what AMD can do with their next generation of graphics cards, and hopefully they can also implement this stuff into their CPUs as well. So next up, Nvidia has released the DLSS 3.7 update, which is promising to improve motion clarity and overall performance. DLSS, or in other words, deep learning super sampling, is a technology that uses artificial intelligence in order to upscale images and video games resulting in a higher resolution and better performance. This update signifies Nvidia's commitment in order to enhancing the gaming experience for its users, particularly those with the RTX graphics cards. Now, I, we're gonna kind of go back to this let's make sure we go over. So PC Gamer ended up reporting that MSI has launched a new gaming monitor offering exceptional, super exceptional value for money. This thing is priced at $899, which may seem expensive, but this monitor boasts 4K resolution and has 240 Hertz. This is 5090 territory right here, boys. So this is making it an ideal monitor for gaming, obviously which and hold on so what sets this apart is that it's oled technology is providing extremely vivid colors and extremely deep blacks which like obviously offers this like super the only way that i can think to exp immersive that's I, I actually thought of the word that's crazy so it offers a super immersive experience dude and it, it's just if you have not tested one of these boy you're missing out i'm and i'm i'm just saying so the, with dude there's a lot of other monitors out here that offer the same stuff and yes of course some of the other monitors like gigabyte also has a pretty cheap one that's i'm pretty sure it's eleven hundred dollars um but msi and gigabyte are hands down the cheapest ones so this is an incredible value man and i'm just saying you're probably gonna want to grab one of these before the 5090 comes out so let's move on before I start getting way too off topic. The DLSS 3.7 update. Um, the reason that I wanted to cover the MSI monitor right after this is because dude, 4K 240 Hertz, that's not even 4090 territory right now. So if, if um, DLSS 3.7 can actually offer even more than what DLSS is already doing, there are going to be people, I get a fuzzy, that's really distracting me. Um, oh my God stupid fuzzy <laughs> you guys out you probably know what I, what was i saying that stupid fuzz freaking annoyed me um the dlss it's going to actually allow you to play games at 4k 240 hertz if you got like a 4080 or a 4090 i think that that would be pretty cool because dude like 4k 200 like that's 5090 territory because as far as we're aware right now the 5090 is going to be 70 percent faster than a 4090 Oh my goodness, bro. Your boy's really good at getting off topic. So Microsoft ended up releasing an update for Windows 11 virtual machines, which is going to be free. You don't need to pay anything or need to install anything else. These virtual machines are going to come with the latest updates as of March 2024, which is going to allow you to test these new features and improvements without the need for additional installations or hardware. And this is going to be demonstrated as Microsoft's commitment in order to providing us the people using the program with convenient access to the latest software updates and just ready for it 
not pulling an apple. Video cards ended up reporting that Intel is unveiling its Core Ultra 5234V processor, which is rumored to be based on the Lunar Lake architecture. And this processor is marking a significant milestone as the first known product to utilize this architecture. While details about this processor are limited, its announcement hints at Intel's ongoing effort in order to innovate in the CPU market and compete with rival manufacturers like AMD. The development is likely to be of interest to technology enthusiasts and industry observers alike, which sheds light on Intel's future roadmap and product lineup. And what I think that Intel should really start focusing on is heat. Like the Intel 14900, dude, it runs so warm that it's constantly throttling itself. Now, you may not think that this is a big deal, but when it starts to like overheat and throttle, and I'm not... It, Obviously, I have a really good cooler, so it, 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 it like cools itself down, but it doesn't. So like when I'm when I'm editing a video, the whole reason you get high end stuff is so that your 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 experience is smooth. Your experience is enjoyable is the only way that I can think to explain it. But when what ends up happening with an i9 14900K is the CPU gets so warm and like i always say everything inside of your computer is working together so when you get 64 gigabytes of ram you're getting 64 gigabytes of ram for a reason you're not just getting 64 gigabytes of ram to have 64 gigabytes you're getting that so that you can have google open your photo editor open your video editor open obs open all these programs open videos with recordings playing on a different screen open netflix open everything open but what happens is you you have you get all this ram for a reason but your your cpu also has to like like whatever output all this stuff <laughs> if that makes sense like your cpu is also working to have all of this stuff open it's not just the memory that is allowing you to have everything open even though that does play a role in it and then you also have the motherboard you also have your graphics card so the reason I'm explaining this is because you get a really good graphics card, you get a ton of memory, you get a wicked good motherboard, a great cooler, and all of this stuff, and you would expect it to like never lag, never like have any problems whatsoever, but it does. And the reason it does is because your CPU gets so hot that it bottlenecks everything, or not bottleneck, it uh, it like it slows everything down for a moment until it, it like it cools itself down so while you're editing something in a bit and i'm just using video editing because it's what i do i don't ex i don't notice anything inside of video games i never notice anything while i'm playing a video game but at the same time an i9 isn't really meant for for gaming it's more so for the creative side of stuff a four thousand dollar computer you should not be experiencing lag while you're editing a video and the reason you're experiencing that is because your cpu is so freaking hot and it starts to like overheat and again i i have a good cooler so it starts to cool back down but it like it's constantly like boom boom like boom fucking like 6.5 gigahertz up back down to five 100 degrees back down to 90 100 degrees down to 70 100 degrees down to 40 100 degrees down to 50 100 degrees down to 45 100 degrees down to 65 it's constantly doing that all of the time but i'm i'm super excited for all of this stuff dude it's technology right now is just like it's just crazy it's it's like 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 within a year man we're like we've never seen this kind of growth with everything and it's because of artificial intelligence you know it i just think it's very cool it's it's it really is an awesome time to be alive right now it's super cool to see the development of all of this stuff being so rapid you know what i mean it's when i quote unquote back in my day <laughs> you know it took a year or two before we even got like the slightest improvement. Now it's like every day. It's like, whoa, it's like, it's just crazy, man. The speed of everything right now. It's very, it's very interesting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.